Well, good morning, y'all. Jim here with Simple Life Tennessee. With deer season fast approaching, it's time to get out and get your food plots ready, get your tree stands hung, and to start scouting your area. Today, we're gonna to talk about a few different brands of food plot mix that you can use to get your food plots ready to start attracting the deer. Let's take a look at those right now. The first one we're gonna talk about is the domain brand, Big Sexy. The premier cold season food plot Big Sexy provides the protein and energy necessary to attract deer all fall and winter while producing the leafy and bowl producing forage to handle heavy graze pressure. The special varieties of turnip, radish, kale, and forage rape were chosen for their hardiness, cold tolerance, and nutrition. It has turnips, radish, kale, forage rape. It's made to attract deer all fall and winter. This specific blend has trophy rapeseed 43%. Forage brassica, 22.7%. Dill seed radish, 19%. Purple turnip, 13.32%. Then it has a mixture of weed seed and other crop stuff. That's less than 1%. But overall, this looks like a good product. Their planting guide says you want to plant this in full or partial sun. And it's for either a hunting food plot or a backwoods food plot. It's a pH range is 5.8 to 7. Soil type, well-drained dark rich sandy rocky clay tilling minimal tilling required we already tilled up this field so that's ready fertilizer 300 pounds of 19 19 19 per acre and a quarter of an inch or less to plant they recommend that here in the south you do it anywhere between august and october so we are in that perfect planting time the next one we have is smackdown also by domain so domain smackdown attract a fantastic fall and winter food source, Smackdown offers two varieties of turnips that are easy to grow and fast to mature. Not only will this grow rapidly, but the dual purpose mix produces a large purple top, spherical root, and leafy foliage that can both be grazed, providing high levels of protein and energy, making Smackdown one of the most popular food plots you can plant for white-tailed deer. This has a variety of purple top turnip, forage turnip, and this is supposed to do rapid growth, incredible forage production, and superior attraction. The mix we have in this one, purple top turnip, 66%, vivant turnip, 33%, and then less than 1% of other matter. So you have 99% basically of all turnips. So I'm excited about to see how this one's gonna do. Now what they recommend for their planning guide, full or partial sun for your main honey plot or backwoods plot. pH range once again is 5.8 to 7. Soil top, well-drained, dark, rich, sandy, rocky, or clay. Minimal tilling. Once again, you can either minimal till, plow, disc, or even hand rake it. They're also recommending, once again, 300 pounds of 19, 19, 19 per acre and a quarter inch or less. And their planting dates for the north is July to September. For the central region, it's July to September. And for the southern region is August, October. White Tail Institute's Tall Tine Tuber. Turnips for deer from Imperial White Tail. Specially developed turnips for white-tailed deer, researched and selected for quick development, cold hardiness, and high deer usage. Designed for incredible late fall and winter attraction, fast growing and easy to establish, produces tons of food. Their recommendation for planting in the area that I'm at, August 1st to September 30th. This mixture is made up of 55% tall tine turnip, 10.5% purple top turnip, less than 1% of other crop seeds, 34% rain bond polymer coating, so it looks pretty good. What they recommend is 400 pounds at 17, 17, 17 or equivalent per acre. And once again, broadcast the seed at a rate shown on the front of the bag. It says, do not cover the seed. Antler King Honey Hole. This is annual fall, winter rape, turnip plot mix. The number one selling hunt plot. This is what they say. Easy to grow, tonnage producing hunt plot that grows fast and deer love. So they say deer love it, especially with cold weather. They it's treated with the Ultra Coat Orange for higher germination rates. Honey Hole is our number one selling hunt plot because it's easy to grow. It thrives with little to no tilling. It's pH tolerant and produces great tonnage and deer absolutely love it. So their mixture they have in this one is Trophy Rapeseed, 33%. Dwarf Essex Rapeseed, 19%. Purple Top Turnip, 6%. Brassica, 3%. And Forage Collards, 2%. Pretty much has the same instructions as installing the other ones. So we'll see what that looks like. Big time, buck brunch, no-till food plot mix, and it's an annual. So what they're saying here is 
Buck Brunch takes away the issues many food plotters face of needing large equipment to plant a food plot. It's a no-till formula that allows hunters to strategically place small private food plots where they need them with as little equipment as hand tools. Buck Brunch is a great for remote plots around your tree stand, old clearings, paths in the woods, or corners of fields. It needs three to four hours of filtered sunlight per day and good seed to soil contact. They're saying it's a no-till mix. It's great for early and late season, easy to establish and fast growing, a mix of select foragers to provide ultimate attraction throughout the hunting season, shade tolerant, attracts and holds deer in your hunting areas, fall annual planting, but can be planted in the spring as a soil amender. That sounds great. What it has though, kind of has me a little more discouraged, but like I said, everything has its uses. The majority of what this is made up of, if y'all can see that, is 50% of winter hawk annual ryegrass. So mainly this is ryegrass. Only 13% trophy rape, 10% wheat, 7% clover, 3% turnip, 1% balanced turnip. So there's only, there's less than 6% turnip in here. So that's a little discouraging. So I'm not too excited about that. Um, should have looked at that closer before I grabbed it. We'll see how it, how it produces. Well, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Just wanted to show you the different food plot mixes I had. I'm gonna put them out. As the season goes along, we'll be able to see how they produce and hopefully we have some great results. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Remember, the best things in life are kept simple. We'll see you again soon on Simple Life Tennessee.